right, so we'll chuck a chuck another zero or two onto this offer, and that's what Glencore have just put in a bid for tech resources overnight in Canada. A Aussie dollar thirty four billion dollar unsolicited script bid for Canada's Canada's biggest miner. So what's the go here, JD? Yeah, that's it, Maddie. Bit to unpack here. So the bid was for the entirety entirety of tech's business. They're actually in the process of splitting up their metals business from their met coal assets at the moment. That was something that the company itself was planning to vote on at the end of the month. So they'll have a few more things to talk about now. So we're just going to chuck a chart up for people watching on YouTube. The combined entity would become the third largest copper miner in the world once the assets that tech has in Chile come online later this month. So like we sort of highlighted yesterday, investors around the world are hunting for copper assets. And there's been a long time, there's been speculation for a long time that tech would be split up and that the combined metals entity could get that green premium and trade at a much higher multiple in comparison to what it's been trading at lately with the combined met assets involved. We've seen majors over the past few years exit coal altogether. It was interesting to see that the combined deal would involve Glencore putting their oil division in com- combined with the copper and zinc and other green battery metals parts of the businesses going forward. So there are rumours at the moment that they Glencore will come back with a improved bid, perhaps offering a bit of script in there. What are your thoughts on that, Trav? Well, you know, I think I think like you know, at a very simplistic level, this is two companies with copper and coal. Yes, Glencore has got its marketing and it's got other commodities, but at a very simplistic level, these are two companies with copper and coal. And, you know, tech is currently trading at 5.2 times FY23 EBITDA versus Glencore at four times. Now you can compare those multiples with, with you know, a, a, a pure play copper producer such as uh, Capstone Copper, which trades at 9.6 times. You know, so, so clearly both of these companies are trying to play the demerge and re-rate to, to gain the green premium game. You know, whether they do that in unison or not remains to be unseen, but but Glencore, they're going to have to offer more for it to be palatable at this stage, given the fact that, you know, we've already got, um, a, a, you know, a decline of this uns- unsolicited offer already. Yeah, and there was one upside to the, the proposed deal. As it stands now, the coal assets would be pumping cash into the metals business for... I think up to six years. So Glencore were proposing a deal which would see no cash changing hands from the coal assets into the Metals Co going forward. 